Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So recently, I have received a question from a friend in the game about one particular feature that was allegedly going to be included in the future updates. And it got me thinking about a post on Reddit that I had covered before in a previous video. You may remember this last year, in June specifically, there was a major leak that sent the ROS community into a frenzy. A post on Reddit revealed some exciting information about upcoming updates for the game, covering the time span until the first half of this year. I covered this information in a video at the time and even made a follow-up video 3 months later. This question prompted me to revisit the list of leak updates and see what had actually been implemented in the game so far. ROX is constantly evolving and updating. Since the leak last year, there have been several updates that have been released and some of the features that were listed in the leak have actually been implemented in the game. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at that post and explore the updates that have been implemented since then. But that's not all. We are also going to talk about what we can expect to see in the future updates because not all of the features that were mentioned in that post have been implemented yet. So whether you are a long time player or just getting started, this video is for you. Right? The list of leak info can be categorized in three parts. Least you forget, let's recap on what had been written. First up, there is the August update. Firstly, two new job class, Rogue and Alchemist, will be added to the game. A brand new location, Komodo Island, to be added to the game. Plus, the Japanese superhero Ultraman IP collaboration event update. Next up is December update. The Sage, Bard, and Dancer job class will be introduced. The new level 120 Umbala map and the update will also also include an IP collaboration event with Demon Slayer. Now, to date, all of these updates had been implemented in the game, but not with the exact sequence or month. The Sage, Bard, and Dancer job class was introduced first on August. The Rogue and Alchemist job class was introduced end of December, early of January period. Although the Demon Slayer IP collaboration event was implemented exactly on December last year, the Ultraman IP collaboration event was only implemented on February this year. The Komodo Island was introduced in August, but the Umbala map 2 was just recently updated in the game on February. So what are the third part? The next update for ROX. First on the list is the highly anticipated level 130 Juno map, which is set to be released in June 2023. Juno is an iconic location in the world of Ragnarok, and this new map promises to be a thrilling addition to the game. Players on the Taiwan server already have access to this new map, and I have personally covered the content of the Juno map in some of my recent videos, from new monster cards to level 130 equipment. There's so much to look forward to with this update. Next up, we have a brand new PvP mode, Server vs Server Battlefield. Well, I think the cross-server KVM is already exist in the game. This new mode allow players in other sub-servers but in the same main server to be matched for KVM. This is a huge addition to the game that players have been asking for. Moving on, we have an exciting addition to guild versus guild battle gvg cross server while gvg are already a staple of the game this update takes it to the next level by allowing guilds from different servers to compete against each other in intense battles for control of the battlefield this is a great opportunity to make new friends and rivals from all around the servers now this has yet to be implemented in the game and i'm sure the more competitive players are eagerly waiting its release the next update on the list is a new trial illusion instance. While we don't have much information about this yet, players are speculating that it could be the Thanatos Tower, as the tower server included a mysterious silhouette in the Juno update with the words coming soon. Players can expect new boss and loot to discover, and we can't wait to see what the developers have in store for us. The home system is another exciting addition to the game, allowing players to customize their own home in ROX. Players can expect to be able to decorate their homes with furniture, invite friends over, and maybe even farm resources to help upgrade the equipment. This update will add a whole new level of personalization to the game, and I can't wait to see what creative designs players come up with. Next, Gender Switch is a feature that players have been requesting for a long time, and the developers have finally implemented it. This feature was actually added just before the Bard and Dancer job class were introduced, as those classes are gender locked. With Gender Switch, Switch, players can now try out both jobs without having to create separate characters. This is a huge quality of life improvement for players
players who want to try out every aspect of the game. Next, we have the server switch feature. This is the question that I was asked that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. This is a feature that many players have been asking for, and it will allow players to move their characters to different servers. This is a great way to try out new communities, meet new players, and experience the game in a whole new way. Last but not least, the fourth job class is scheduled to be released within this year. I know most players will be excited about this, but looking at my current job level, I have a long way to go for the fourth job change. So perhaps maybe that is why the game is now introducing double EXP on every Sunday for this month. Perhaps it is for the preparation for the fourth job class. And that's a wrap for the list of allegedly upcoming updates for Ragnarok X. Which update are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.